the new coin that Susan gave us? And she said, what is it? Oh, it's the best gift ever. Oh yeah, Susan gave us a new coin. Oh, they've already heard my voice and they're coming over. So if you said, what is that noise? That, that's what I play for them, which is the fireworks. There's another one. Now there's actually one called 12 Hours of Gunfire. I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna do another quick one on Diamond Barn, then I'm gonna go walk dogs. But if you said, well, you've only got five minutes, what good is that gonna do? It really is gonna do. Susan used all the newspaper. She didn't tell me. Susan, if that ever happens again, please text me when I'm out and say, I've used every bit of newspaper. Do not return without any. Ay, ay, ay. All right, hang on, son. Yeah, that's what this is. Don't ask me why, but there's, it must, it must be for training dogs. It's, they like it. Now, I won't subject you guys to it then. If you said, what do you, I leave it on all night. If you said that doesn't keep it awake, no, it really doesn't. If you said, what about the fire alarm? No, that's how I, that's how I cut my teeth. I learned to ignore the fire alarm and now I'm up to the, 12 hours of fireworks. Or there's one. Uh, hi, Timothy. Hi, Dean. Oh, yeah, it's an exciting episode. Hang on, hang on. Let me find my stuff. Um, now, there's another one. Well, there's always documentaries about Detroit, if you need gunfire. But there's actually one that I guess maybe from these, it seems like it's from these video games or something. It's just scene after scene of just shooting these guns. Yeah, yeah, 12 hours worth. If you said, who plays them? If I had to guess lunatics who are planning to be in clock towers, I don't even know. It's, I don't know anything, I'll tell you. I've never been happier since I did realized I don't know anything. All right, let me get my... I do know that with dogs, as much as possible to, to benefit you, Oh, the BC's thimble outside the door. Oh, you're not gonna go out. Um, and if you said, why don't you take the legs off the climb? I risk if I take the legs off of it and they start climbing on it that they'll poop on it and then that's what you don't want. All right, hang on, let me get rid of the climb for a second. Oh, but now they're already going under it. So if they go under it, honestly, the next if you said, well, now they go on top of it, oh, that's believable. <laughs> that's what I'd say. I go, oh, that's not believable. All right, hang on. I've got to put a few more papers down. I do, luckily, do have a bunch of penny savers. So, thank God. I'm going to put more papers down. And any of you guys that can save me newspaper, please, dear God. Mike, I'm going to need you to save me the paper. Sure, it'll cost thousands to send it over here, but still. So you just buy paper there, lady. Still. I can't leave my house. You saw what happened when I went out. Oh, Timothy, I went out. That bubble looks over by New Samana. I, I'm not there two seconds. Here comes these. If you remember last time I was there, those creepy guys that said, oh, is that yours? Talking about the phone holder. My response, yes, it is. <laughs> So get there, these same two guys are walking by again. You know, it's not like they don't notice me. It's like I'm walking, getting out of a giant van, walking a dog. God. And you see this guy coming up, walk, grinding his teeth. Except we didn't have any teeth. Listen, you little monkeys. It's time to work. Two more three rides. Okay. Oh, hang on. If you said, what do they do? Honestly, they don't know what they're doing. Any suggestion? That's why these little... Susan took your Ford apart again. OMG. Susan's like, what? It's a fort. Susan must not have had a, uh, a fort made out of blankets when she was a kid. Listen. Listen, you sassers. Okay. You do want to make the crate seem like a cave, not a trap. Let these dogs scream. They're in the trap. They're not in the cave. They're in the trap. No, they're not in the cave. 
Okay, so let me get my stuff. So I've got my contrasting background, which is white. This is a little mouse face. Olive! Olive, don't do that, Olive! And if you said, what premise am I operating on? They're going to pick up anything that's there. My job is to try to make two things seem like the same thing. But picking something up is huge. They don't know that that isn't what it is at this point. Oh, hi, Jess. Hi. Bishav. <laughs> it's a comedy show. What do you expect? She can't pronounce anything. She doesn't know anything. Everyone tells her she doesn't know anything. <laughs> Luckily, that's probably true, Mike. Luckily, all these people say, oh, you don't know what you're doing. I didn't, so I conclude, I don't know operating under that premise, I say, why not? Uh, so there, I was wrong about the handler sitting on the floor, because for this, the handler is sitting on the floor. All right, and I'm just going over the premise. Oh, Olive, I see you. Oh, my God. I see you. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Now, now they're all crowded around. All right, I just have to wait for one of them to sit, and I just have to look at it. I don't really have that skill yet, though. I gotta be ready. Any of them sees it. Listen, not me. Not me. Okay. There he goes. up in my face like that, I am the sequence. That's why that Lucy continues to do it when they would, um, you know, when she'd lick her face or something, they would get excited and pet her and whatever. And a lot of times what people mistake for love, and if you're there, Sharon, you're saying, oh, she loves pets and she loves all these things. A lot of that is ritualistic behavior that they fall into. Some of it's just playing the affable card. I know if I do this, I get a reaction. It, it's, it's, it, it becomes not productive. It's just a ritual. Oh, they're all crowding me. None of them are doing it. Okay, here. You need nine arms for this. Like I knew it was missing, I just wasn't sure where it was. 
jumbo that is. Yeah, that's cool. He's gonna pick it up. She's gonna pick it. <laughs> you little monkey. No, you want to be paid right away too. No, this one's catching on. It's it's. <laughs> Right down, it's all. You little monkey. I better pick those up. Don't do that. Don't really say that, though. <laughs> oh, he did, though. He's got him. Oh, you little monkey. You better give him to mama. No, yeah, I'm glad I worked with him. Maybe he just said, well, I only have five or ten minutes a day. I mean, five or ten minutes to the right thing. And you just have to realize little windows are opening and closing for puppies. Oh, they're opening and closing. So if you're doing the wrong things and that window closes, well, that's it is. That's what you got. I watch. They're gonna see it. I right, already saw it. Watch, watch. Bite inhibition. 
They lay there like a rag doll, just like this, and allow these puppies to shake their ears and their tail. And then they say, look at you with, help me, get me out of here. That's what they do. They're not training them and teaching them. There's one video, I can't find it on YouTube, but it was, it's old. And it was Butterscotch training the puppies. And by training, I mean running for her life. Everywhere, running, jumping, just trying to get away from her. I watch one of them's gonna see these glasses. They said what? Because they're there. I'll just share this sometime before I get out there and walk times. But thank God it's not raining. Oh my god. Yeah, you're Johnny on the spot, aren't you? And I didn't do the recall. I can do the recall at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, this, this is your protocol, Timothy. Oh, God, there she is. Crap. Hopefully she doesn't recognize me. Just keep, keep, keep my eyes down, move, keep moving along. Don't make eye contact with her. <laughs> you saw these people in the video. Timothy, you know they have those people that live in the woods behind public stairs. You know, they don't have that one. I called that one guy, the Unabomber. He carried a big knife. I mean, it's scary. They go in Publix every morning with these giant coffee mugs and take the free coffee instead of putting it in the little styrofoam cup. Yeah, Timothy, they took the whole pot and put it in their great big thing. You know, and I, it makes you uncomfortable. Oh, look, what the one's got it. Oh, that's Joe, are you a little monkey? Oh, thank God, I'm on the side of it. Um, this makes you uncomfortable. You know, and if you said, well, just be nice, Kelly, chat him up. Yeah, I was having to chat him up. If you watched the video, <laughs> this was Kelly. <laughs> you can see him coming. I mean, they... Woods, you know. I, I just don't have any tolerance. And he said, well, you're, I, what I see with you, Kelly, is a bias towards full-grown men. Full-grown, able-bodied men that don't want to work, Kelly. I, you know... I think there's, you know, I don't know how good that is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. He said, well, how much tolerance? You had none. How much tolerance you have full-grown men that don't work? None. He said, well, oh, they want to play outside. They want to play outside. I can get them, start getting them over to the climate. Oh, and this one's so pretty. Anyway, every one of them is cute, and 
they're very dense. When you pick them up, believe me, they're, they're going to be chunky when they get their shots. Oh, they're already chunky. Oh, how they love to eat the food. Anyway, that's where they're at, and the great thing is going good. They're either sleeping next to us. What you guys need to do that are getting them is you need to have a little habitat. What you need to, as much as possible, simulate. You know, this so you can just a laundry room, anything, and have your crate in there and have a little habitat. You know, it's it's just like an infant, so they're not. They need more of a habitat. They, they can't be, I just tell people, they can't be put in a crate. We don't want to put them in a crate to drive home. You want to just keep them on the seat or whatever. And you want to have just a simulated habitat as much as possible. The stuffed animal, the crate, you know, maybe the blanket or whatever. As much as possible for a little transitional thing until they become acclimated to your house and they... And they are comfortable in their environment because that is important. I mean, you don't want to get them. Did, uh, did Taco cry? Is Taco miserable? You don't want that. I mean, it, you know, to say, well, we're just going to put them in the crates. You want, they're, you know, again, the first night in the new place. For all they know, they fell in the hole. They don't, you know. He's not playful. Anyway, they're actually eating the dry food, and they're only four and a half weeks. So if you said, what is that? Well, they're advanced for their age. Oh, you're very advanced. You're very advanced for your age. Yeah, I'll go out there and get some more papers. But... I mean, I can make the climb over here and make it even more of a, oh, make it even more of a little cave type of situation. You know, that they're, oh, I can put it kind of like this. You know, so that's the little clubhouse in there. There's toys in there, there's beds. No, they don't go, they do, they like the clubhouse. When I was a kid, whenever we got, a dog. Remember, I said we always had to have this poodle. But we would keep it in a large box. I remember we, there was no, they probably didn't have crates back then or whatever. We didn't know about them. But we'd have a large cardboard box. It was very small. It was small. It was small. We moved around a lot. Apparently, we can have a big dog because we moved around a lot. We had a small dog. And look what happened. Look where that got me. I gotta go walk dogs, but that's what it is. And well, no, I usually do bring that Doberman. Elliot's such a big pain in the butt. I do take Elliot and Andre. I take Elliot, Andre, and the Doberman running with me. Trust me. And sometimes the bulldog too. Oh, I put the little tent over there. I, I don't know if they went in there with you there, season, but one of them was going in that little tent. Remember, I bought that little tent that one time. <laughs> He said, what happened? Oh, well, two seconds after I put it together and one of the legs fell off. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm not going to be getting too much. And it was going in there. And I don't think you do want that as many. Okay, now look now. I love playing with this. I'm so glad I bought that thing. I love playing with that little thing. You know, so to them, if this was your house and that was, you know, look, they're already where they want to be. So I think, you know, I'll just have the climb in there. Oh yeah, this is Susan's Christmas gift for me. I said, oh my God, it's the best gift ever. So, I think I could though. I mean, I, I will take the legs off when they get a little bit older, but I wouldn't take the legs off and leave it in there now because they might accidentally poop on there and then you're giving it the wrong I think anything a dog would go underneath at some point. Oh yeah, that's that. I made that over there. That's where they 
That's where they ran up their purchases. Oh, they're beyond cute. They're very advanced. I mean, yes, it is. I mean, everybody saw it. You saw how fast they started advancing once I started giving them the food. If you said, I can show you a litter that they didn't start feeding early, I would say I believe that. It was scary how fast they were advancing. Anyway, there's a little lot of pimples out there waiting for me. I have to bring them back in. If you said, how does that go? Yeah, not good. Oh, so put your land in there. Oh, my God. I do put the toys in there like that. And, you know, they are. You definitely want to have that when they come home. Go to Walgreens. I should have gone there today. They've got the giant stuffed toys. And then that is the de facto litter mate or whatever, because that is how they sleep. I mean, they do kind of sleep piled up. Cute buttons. Oh, look, that one's going on the slide. I love that little slide. I don't know anybody. They've got puppies. This little, any, any of the stuff that's for. Little monkey. You know, they're even gonna jump through the window and everything. That is so playful. Yeah, it's like a little Disneyland thing in there. Okay, so it went like that too. So now it's an activity ah, table. Look, listen. Listen, it's your activity table. Yeah, that's when you're going to be needing to do your homework tonight if you're practicing. Yeah, you need to do your homework. Well, you went right on there and started doing it. So now there you go, Mike. Well, I don't know how much more you need to see, Mike. I stay puppy. I am going to need you to do the homework right here. And he rushes right over there and begins to eat. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. No, maybe not. You just take that out and put it in the baby's car. I love that little slide, though. Look now, how cute. Oh, how absolutely precious. Mike looks out the <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, this one of the boys. Oh, huge little precious little pumpkin. I'm going to be going to this mic on the house now. It's pretty clear. I said, do your homework. It's right here. Not even knowing what it's doing, it's doing what I said. Look, am I wrong? This guy. That's. Look at how cute. 
You precious. Oh, don't you ever try to get that falling. Don't you? Oh, it's going to be Little Puppy that roared. Watch. <laughs> and Little Puppy that roared. Still in there working on the homework. Poor little thing. Don't even know. Don't even know. <laughs> Why can't I pick it up? What the heck's going on? That's how I just get them practicing putting something in their mouth. Yeah, that's just how they practice putting it in their mouth. There you go, Mike. I don't know how much else you need to see. Yeah, and I mean, I can't have them taking something off. They I wouldn't be there to reward them. They're just practicing. Listen, you little monkeys. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to stand there all I do is homework. Listen, you all right, so that's the lighter boy. And then Steve, that one, go back. There's Jumbo. <laughs> you can go. You can go. Oh, don't you get me, Jumbo. Don't you get me. Don't you get me. Oh, no, just in there still working away. And then Steve, the one that was lounging right there, that's the darker. So there's Jumbo, the lighter one, and the darker. So you guys figure out which one. Oh, nice. The old females are big. Uh-oh. They're going after sister. No, that wasn't part of the assignment. Oh, boy, we might have a problem here. I don't know if they can't. Oh, boy, now I'm going to have to fix it back. I always try to squeeze under there, and there's something in front Oh, boy, hang on, hang on. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Okay. Let me just take it out for now. Let me take it out and make it a separate thing. Yeah, and then it's like another little doorway right there. Uh -oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Guys, I actually now really do have to go. <laughs>